Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. What is faith? February 23. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11.1 1. These words of the Savior are deeply significant and call for our earnest study. Many who possess great wealth have obtained their riches by close dealing, by benefiting themselves at the expense of their fellow human beings, and they glory in their shrewdness in closing a bargain. Every dollar thus obtained, and the increase of every such dollar has upon it the curse of God. Wealthy men and women are to be more closely tested than they have ever yet been. If they stand the test and remove the blemishness of dishonesty and injustice from their characters, and as faithful stewards render to God the things that are God's, to them it will be said, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. No man can serve two masters, Christ said, for either he will hate one, and love the other, or else he will hold to one and despise the other. When the Pharisees, who are covetous, heard these things, they derided him. But turning to them, Christ said, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. Writing to his son in the Gospel, Paul says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be therewith content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Paul would impress upon the mind of Timothy the necessity of giving such instruction as would remove the deception which so easily steals upon the rich, that because of their wealth they are superior to others who do not have such large possessions as themselves. They suppose their gain to be godliness. There are high and holy interests which call for our money, and the money invested in these will yield to the giver more elevated permanent enjoyment than if it were expended for personal gratification or selfishly hoarded for greed of gain.